Hi, I'm Father McHale. I'm Old Dirty Pastor. Uh, this is Surviving Hard Mode, episode... Uh, episode Capturing an NPC. <laughs> yeah, it's we've been waiting in this village since night. Uh, it's just about dawn, so we're going to get started. We just didn't want to have any problems with hostile mobs. But we will um, get going. I got my poking stick here. We got some snowballs, which don't do any really any real damage to them. They help you move them. And together, we're going to get them across the ocean and into our house. We'll show you a couple tricks we know along the way. <clears throat> and yeah, without further ado, let's see if we can't get this bugger going where we want him to go. We're literally just going to nudge him the way we want him to go. He likes to play in the water because he's a dip. It's kind of uh, an easier process with two people. Could probably be done with one. Might even be a little easier with a third, but we've never even tried that. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you get him in spaces like this, you can always move him with water. Which is helpful. As you can see there, I threw a couple of snowballs at him, that's why he was turning red. And acts as if it's doing damage, but I don't think it's really hurting him. Could be wrong, I'm not 100% on that. We'll need to come up with a name for him, it's better when you can yell at him by name. As of right now, I'm thinking about Butthole. Because he's being one? Come on, Butthole. <gasps> Fail. Come on. Oh, don't go down there. That's death. I'm just starting to realize this video is going to be like 75 minutes long. <laughs> no, it's not. It'll take us 12 minutes. <laughs> He's like, quit it. What did I do to you guys? Basically, you got to try to move him as far as you can while it's still light out. Because once the sun goes down, you have a whole new set of problems. They don't, they don't spawn in peaceful mode, do they? No, I'm not sure. I don't I'm think so. I'm not sure either. Come on, buddy, out into the water. Oh, you prefer butthole. I think I'd prefer cocksucker. Fucking cocksucker. With me and Pastor, normally one of us stays on the left and one of us stays on the right. So, Pastor, you try to stay on his right short, I'll stay on his left so he has no choice but to go where we want him to. <laughs> oh, I just hit him once. And you have to be careful. Now, so we both just hit him. Now, one more hit and he probably dies. So you have to be careful. One thing you want to do with these guys for sure is if you make any progress, you want to just stop and save. So that way, if you accidentally kill him, you don't have to like start over with a new one. Here we go, he's moving now. So we get him into this water, it'd be a little slightly easier. For some reason it's slightly easier to push him while they're in the water than it is on land. I guess he doesn't put up as much of a fight on where he's able to go. Because he's trying to swim. This whole process is a SOB. <laughs> <coughs> it's not so bad. Now trying to save without drowning myself, that's another story. The payoff is cool, because how many people have an NPC character in their house? But it's the same deal. Me and Pastor, we stay shoulder and shoulder like this. Every once in a while he gets away from us, like, eventually we'll have to stop and eat and we'll lose some ground. Things like that, but it can't really be avoided. Yeah, if you can see the way the two of us are kind of pushing them along, it's working pretty well. Relatively well. Once we get them over to the land over here, we're going to probably end up doing the tunneling system that we do. Because that land uh, across the water there, that goes, it's pretty much connected right to our home. <laughs> this might be a, this might be a good spot to try to start hitting them with the snowballs to push them. 
I'm almost out of snowballs. He doesn't, he doesn't drown himself. I have a feeling we're gonna kill him. I starting to have that terrible feeling too, but hey, it might be for the good of the video. I didn't even know that would be terrible for the video. <laughs> oh yeah, terrible, my fault. When I said good, I meant terrible. It's an opposite day here and <laughs> here in hard mode. Here in hard mode, yeah. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Yeah, see, there you go. There's the snowball method working. Back up. Back up. Back up. Yeah, really, in this the thing about hard mode is you have no problems as long as it's daylight. If you can get them back before dusk. You're golden. It's it's if it turns to be if it you know if it becomes nighttime, then all of a sudden you got serious problems. Pastor, we should try to save some snowballs for when we got to get them underground. I actually have zero left. Well, when we get them underground, I think we could just use our water. Well, but we got to get them underground first without killing well, them. That's the touche. I am out of snowballs. I only had a stack with me. That's all right. We covered a lot of ground real quick there because of that. I probably should have had like seven stacks. But we kind of did this uh, spur of the moment. I actually have like a full inventory. We just came from a mining excavation. As soon as we get him to land, I'm going to save real quick. Even if it's just this little piece here. For some reason, these, mo these guys will always walk back towards their home. And we think that's how Jeeves number one escaped. That's why we have J2 in the house there. One day we left the door open and we think Jeeves one just walked out the door and walked home. <laughs> And how sad were we to find an empty house. <laughs> so sad that we slaughtered an entire NPC village. <laughs> <laughs> Jeeves, all of his parents, all of his friends, everyone he ever knew suffered because of him. We pillaged the village. Assaulted all the women. Now this whole generation of NPC children is directly descended from us. <laughs> Mom, Jeeves. What? One quick thing on a good wheat source is the NPC villages. You can go, you can go take all their farm, all their wheat, and just replant it. So that's a good wheat source to do. And depending on what this uh, next update comes, you know, maybe we'll have iron golems and we'll be able to trade with the NPCs and breed them. Yeah, I'm really hoping that that's in the update. I've heard rumors that it is. I'm just going to save it there because we are close to the land. Yeah, so now that we got him across the water, I'll save. It's, it's been about eight minutes so far. You can see it's a slow process, but within 15 minutes, we should be in the house. This next part moves a little bit faster, I think, as long as everything goes right, which it almost always does. <laughs> almost always. <laughs> as in the first two times we did it, it didn't go right at all, but we think this time it'll be different. Come on, Jeeves. Don't be a butthole. Let's go to the video. I got my poking stick out. See, your poking stick's all business. It's like a smite four, sharpness five, <laughs> light him on fire two. Mine's just a stick. Yeah. I'm gonna poke him with this torch. All right. No. There we go. Come on. Come on, Nick. Come on, meow. Alright. Oh. Of course I fell in the water. Gotta get him through that little to the little tunnel here to the left that goes between these mountains. That grass you just walked on, we should probably take out. No, we gotta get him over here, yeah. He's, he's coming over here. He wants to get... See, there he goes. He knows. The hole we need's right there. I can see it's marked in cobble. Yeah, that's that's where we had our original hole. Oh, come on now. Come on, man. Clay. That we don't need... Shit, I just hit him with my diamond pick. That's okay. 
I, I thought for sure I was gonna kill him there. He ate it. Come on, Jeeves. We gotta get him a little bit farther before nighttime or we're gonna have issues. Now we should make like a minecart track over to that bitch. Oh, you know what? We could get him into a minecart. You know how you get pigs and stuff into him? That'd be awesome, and then we could wheel him back to the house. That'd be so sick. Just today, someone showed me how to get enemies into him, so you can get anything into him, I think. Yeah, I see our cobble thing there. Yeah, I'm gonna keep pushing him, see if you can open that up, so maybe we can get him to fall in there. So, fortunately, we've already got a a pre-tunnel dug out from, uh, this is our third NPC that we're trying to capture. As McHale said before, the first one escaped, so now we have J2 at the house. And I guess this would be J3, but, uh, or Butthole Cocksucker, whichever you want to call him. Pardon the language for you young viewers out there. Are you okay? Let me know if you're about to lose him and I'll come back. Uh, no, I'm about to get him into this tunnel. There he... Oh, there he goes. He's in. Alright, as soon as you get past him, block him. Shit, is he going the right way? Oh yeah, he's going the right way. Alright, we're good. Now you know what? Now I got my water. And I can just flush him out. Well, hold on until I get down there. I'm clearing a path real quick. I'm just trying to f see where I am before I go too much further. I'm hoping I'm even in the same tunnel as you. I think I am. Yeah, you are. I just found our old one. Well, I'm moving them right along. Alright, just I make sure you keep putting blocks behind you to stop them. Well, he doesn't really... He, he can't really... Yeah, he'll get past you, and then he'll start beelining the other way. Yeah, you're right. He is trying to do that. Alright, let's do what we normally do. Would you get him past me in any way you can? And then I'll do the water behind you, and you keep pushing him down the tunnel. Just get him past where I am now. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, he's good. Alright, so what we do is, as we make progress, I block up the way, and then I dump a bucket of water. And it you keeps... Oh yeah, good. Yeah, that's taking him up to where the other tunnel is. Well, that was fast. Up here's the other tunnel. Couldn't see it at first. Here, get back up here, get back up here. Go ahead, get ahead of me. I'm in the tunnel, I'm just trying to get him to... There you go. And so I just keep walking backwards and putting my back against him, and then, like I said, I dump water, it pushes him past her, behind him, too, and then I just keep adding a block and then dumping some more water. Actually, he's in between us, but that's okay. Well, that, you'll, well that'll you be important, because eventually you're going to have to clear ahead of him. Oops, we got him in a little divot there. Did you fall into something? Oh no, just close it back up. This is probably a good time to save anytime you have an all shit moment. Well, just because there's out the outsides right there, there's a spider right above that was death from above. And so like we said, basically what you want to do is you want to move them as far as you can by day, and then once you get them near your house for nighttime, we usually dig a tunnel that's two blocks high. Like so. And then we just keep moving him. I keep my back to him, I push him as I'm going, and then I dump this water, it moves him towards Pastor, and I just repeat.
The important thing is to keep him in front of me. If he gets past you, he'll he'll start running the other direction for some reason. Shit. Faster's having more of shit moments up there. Good. He'll hopefully be able to let us know when we're pretty close to our house, or our front door, and then we'll probably have to camp out until the morning. We are damn close. Them, and I'm at the end. And then we can go outside and if you want to clear the way ahead of us and get that gate open. I'm gonna kinda try to. Or did that. Alright, J2's free. Get that gate open. Alright, not J2. Butthole cocksucker, whatever his name is. Uh, Mr. Belvedere. Come on, bug. We're gonna push him in this... The beauty of our fence entrance here is all we gotta do is get him in there and then he's pretty much trapped, at least in that part of the house. There we go. We just want to take him downstairs. Watch this little drop will kill him. Yeah, right? And he's dead. No, he's not. <laughs> I know. Come on, Jeeves. Almost got him inside. Oh, oh, no, no, no. That was a dirty trick you just played on us, Jeeves. <laughs> All right. And now we have a new manservant. Oops. Probably got to watch out. They can use wooden doors. So if you're going to keep one in your house, you got to make sure you give him iron doors or he'll get out. Jeeves, go? There is. Jeeves, we should probably put in here in this room with the uh, with the wolf and stuff. But I don't know that we need to show them all that. We'll go put him in the cage there and we'll save the game. We just thought we would show you guys how you can bring an NPC back to your home for decoration. Uh, another thing to watch out if you're going to leave him roam free is he'll walk right into that fireplace. They're not very smart. And so if you're going to have them roaming free, no doors that they can open, and, uh, yeah. Are you burning them to death for the video? No. I don't want to. I'm trying to push them into our room back there. So <laughs> I'm saving the game me. before Pastor burns him to death. <laughs> but, but either way, I'm, uh, Father McHale. I'm Old Dirty Pastor. And we just thought we would show you how to capture Jeeves, or J3, or Butthole Cocksucker, or Mr. Belvedere. Whatever you would like to call Whatever you, you want to call them. And, um, yeah, you guys take care.